All right, we're back in Bakersfield for the weekend. And it's Saturday, mid-morning. I decided I was gonna do some barbecue, but no, you go away. So <clears throat> I invited Colin over and I ran down to our local meat market and I grabbed two of these prime New Yorks because I really like the uh, steak bites that we have at our at our local Tabanyaki place. They make these New York steak bites that are just to die for. So I'm gonna try to mimic that today with these. I've tried it before and I actually got the sauce just straight from Kan Pai, which is the, the um, sushi place that we go to. Today I decided to try to make a sauce that's gonna mimic that steak sauce that they have. And so I used soy, some teriyaki, a little bit of Dijon, some of that stuff there. That's the uh, Japanese tograshi. And then I got a little minced garlic with some chili pepper and horseradish. So that's what this sauce here is. And it's pretty close. It's not exactly, uh, it doesn't taste exactly like theirs, but it's, um, it's pretty close. So we're going to try that today. I'm going to barbecue that in New York, and then I'm going to make some, um, some garlic, like a garlic butter, um, to baste it in. And then Colin said he wanted some bacon wrapped shrimp, but they didn't have any. So I got the shrimp and I'm just gonna wrap it with some bacon. And then we got some jalapeno poppers. City and butter lounging. You guys want to go outside? Come on. Let's go outside. <clears throat> Come on. Want to get in the pool? Here. Yeah, a toy. Come on. Let's get in the pool. Ready? Come on. Very nice day today. Not too hot. Ready, bud? Come on. Ready? Get it, bud. Get it. Bud's ready to get in there. Go get it. Come on. Get it, bud. Come on. You have to get in the water, Sadie, if you want it. Funny thing is, if she doesn't want to get in the pool, like, she'll get in here, you know, a little bit here and there, but you go find the muddiest, nastiest creek and she'll definitely get in there right away. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, we're working on some stuff for Plow Brothers here. Just some kind of generic stuff, but I made these slides anybody like slides here's the pajama pants here so All right, we are all packed up. It's Sunday morning. 
And I got word last week that the uh, Kennedy Meadows Pass is now open. The one where we got that flat tire right there on. So you can see I got my new tire on there. And uh, Sadie Bud and I are gonna, we're gonna try and make that trip today. So we're getting an early start on our way to Mammoth. Well, the bugs are out. I cleaned the windshield the best I could, scrubbed it at the gas station there. Still a couple little spots. Hopefully it's not too bad. We can get some good footage on the way up. Should have cleaned the side window. out this part of the road right here. Just wanted to take you down here real quick. Looking at the shoreline. That line that you'd normally see, it kind of goes all the way around the lake is no longer there so that basically means this thing's at the highest it's ever been whatever that's a parking lot over there so the lake's basically high enough to turn that parking lot over there into an island that's pretty pretty high definitely the highest it's ever been so we just got up here to Kernville. Wanted to take you. This is the river, the upper Kern that's going into the lake right now. So you could probably go back to a video I did two or three months ago and I was here and it certainly looks a lot different today than it did a couple months back. This, this water is moving. I mean, it is moving. I don't think last time probably the water was even up to these trees here. So as you can see, it's still, it's still really coming in hot. Here's the, the rafting adventures, which a couple videos ago, we were back up that way on the Kennedy, trying to go through Kennedy that first time. <laughs> that's kind of where they start from and then it's you know a good 10 15 miles they raft all the way down to right here and this is where they get out and they'll load onto that bus but uh just wanted to show you guys that real quick we're gonna make our way on up and uh like i said the road's open so we should have no issues getting over the top today Lots of people up in Kernville enjoying the weather today. It's really mild. It's 84 degrees, which uh, feels pretty not too bad at all.
that's the uh looks like everything's open so we're gonna probably should have looked at that last time huh The brewery is right here, Kern River Brewing. It's a neat place. Got some good beers there. That, that thing's really grown over the last 10 years. I remember when that thing started. So here we go back up towards McNally's and then up over through Kennedy Meadows is the, that's the game plan. Sacred Mountain Properties, huh? Kind of a neat uh, little. I don't think it's as old as it's made to look, but kind of cool. Oh, here's something, this is for sale. The uh, River Kern General Store. That'd be a maybe a fun little retirement, huh? So this is the uh, famous McNally's hamburger spot right here, known for their burgers. They got a little hotel. And uh, pretty cool little spot. It's a little lounge area right there. And then here's the general store. Check in for the lodge there. We're gonna keep moving. go guys we're gonna give this another round see if we can't get up over the top this time highway 395 67 miles here we go Sherman Pass Road Here's the spot we made it to last time. As you can see, we went that way. And uh, roads open today. So now, uh, now that we're up here, I'll kind of show some more of this country since we'd already seen all the way up to that point. I wasn't really filming a whole lot. Station from the fires that we had a couple years back. Probably getting real close to the same elevation as Mammoth here. Right around 
8,000. I see a little patch of snow right there. Looks like a cool little trail that goes up through there. I'll have to try that out one of these days in the Ranger. I see some more snow up on top. Just a little, just a little. went from 80, 84 in Kernville. It was uh, about 87 up over at McNally's. And now we're, uh, we're almost to the summit here and 65 degrees. Here's where we want to go right here, Cora. Kern Plateau. Right here, Troy Meadows. So we made it to the Vista Point here. You can see uh, Whitney and uh, Alantia is up that way. Still quite a bit of snow on those. But now we're going to head down into here and work our way down towards the 395. Got some dirt bikers. Looks like they had a little ride up here. Do a little dirt biking. It's always a good time. Okay. Trip's going as planned so far. We're still on the pavement and we're on we're on schedule. About another hour we'll be down uh, down into the 395 so Let's see what we got. Sherman Jeep Trail is up that way. I've been on that one time. A long time ago with some friends. I was about 16, 17 years old. And uh, it's been a long time. I have to try to do that again one of these days. It's really all, this is my second time down the backside here to 395. So I haven't even been down this. Um, I've been up the other side quite a few times. Never really been down this way, only one other time. Sixty four degrees. I can't believe it. Feels really nice. Sun's out. A little bit of wind, not too bad. Unbelievable how vast this area is. We made it past the summit back there and we're headed down the backside and we've still got twenty three miles to go before we get to Kennedy Meadows. And then from there is probably another 20 to 25 miles down to the highway. So that just kind of shows you how vast of an area we are in up here.
So we made it to the four corners up here. Down to the 395 we go. 37 miles. So we're about halfway through the trip. Knock on wood, things are still going pretty good. Temperature's back up to about 72 right now. So as we get start coming down the back side, the, the desert side, it's gonna warm up pretty quickly. I have noticed quite a bit of, uh, a lot of timber down um, back up that way and it's all broken off. It's not cut, most of it's not cut. I would say 80%, 90% is just, um, I guess from the fires and then the wind blows it down and there it just broke off. But a lot of timber back that way on the ground. Let Sadie and Bud out for a minute. Go. Fish Creek. I think this is Fish Creek. Uh, Fish Creek Campgrounds right up there. Come here, Bud. Let's see this. River's flowing pretty good. Sadie will probably try to get in. Hopefully she doesn't get carried away. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Plenty of water down this way still. You're gonna get in trouble, Sadie. There, watch out. Come on. Beautiful. Now, I don't think you want to go in there. Surprisingly, she's not going in there. You guys ready? Okay, let's get on down the highway. Come on. Get up there, bud. Go ahead, Sadie. Go. All right. We're gonna keep it moving. Definitely gonna make a camping trip up to this area and 
do some serious exploring all through this country. It's very interesting. It's amazing how steep it is on the way up and then once you get up to the top it kind of flattens out and there's, there's quite a bit of open ground up on you know near the top that's fairly flat and usable which is really cool starting to drop down the back side here into the high desert still got a ways to go so I remember um, there was some homes down here last time I went through they were kind of definitely a little different so we'll take a look at those when we get down this way South Fork of the Kern River Here. Water's flowing. So we made it to the little community of Kennedy Meadows here. Just under 7,000 foot elevation. You can see these uh, little yurts. Those are little yurt camps. Not sure exactly what those, if those are private. Yeah, looks like most of this land right in here is private. I remember coming through here several years ago that one time and uh, I thought a couple of the places were kind of creepy, but we'll see how it feels today. It looks pretty cool so far. And, uh, yeah, there it looks like there's a population of about 200 people back in here. And I see... There's a... There's one of those ones that uh, I was talking about right there. But, oh, they got a little general store. I don't remember that, but I think it was here. That's pretty neat. Oh, gas is only $7.49. Reminds me of Mammoth. That's cool. It's got a little, little uh, patio area. I like that. I'll have to pop in here one of these days and... Uh, hang out for a bit that's pretty neat I've seen quite a few dirt bike guys up here so far looks like that guy's into dirt bikes himself right there yeah he, he likes them private road got a hiker here that's yeah, not a bad place not a bad place at all acre parcels for sale oh there's 
there's grumpy bears. I've heard about that place. I don't know if this is a, uh, what, what's that there? Cable? Something. There's an interesting structure there. Looks like uh, what's left of an old ranch. Pretty cool. Nice meadow out here. Haven't seen any cattle up here. Surprisingly, there's there's a lot of grass up in here. Seems like it'd be a good place to have some cows right now. It's actually 80 degrees already. We haven't even really drop down too much we're still above 6,000 feet right here continues to slough off it's like a mini mini version of uh, coming down from Yosemite there's the valley down there Ridgecrest all that nice and flat you can see that This reminds me of uh, coming down from the backside of Yosemite on a 120 there. Just kind of a smaller version of that. Very, still very steep and uh, rugged. It's starting to heat up real quick getting up to the 90s here So I just wanted to stop real quick and show you. It's a very vast and deep canyon here. We just came from right up that way. You see the road goes down through there. Definitely don't want to go off the road right there. It's, I don't know, quarter mile, half a mile straight, really, really steep down to the bottom. I'll stop and look at this real quick. Sorry about the wind. You see the 395 down there. I see a big rig down there. We're not far.
especially all that lava flow. Well, we made it, guys. Now, we're still about two hours, two and a half hours from um, Bishop. All right, we made it to Lone Pine. Ninety-four degrees in Lone Pine today. Definitely warming up. Got the window cleaned off a little bit better. Just coming in to Crowley here. 